Kia ora whanau. I'm Emmeline Pat Dahlstrom. I'm originally from the Philippines and the U.S. And I'm Eric Dahlstrom uh, from the U.S. And unfortunately, uh, Rich Bodo, who is in Prague right now, can't be with us. We're the three team from Space Base and we're from Cohort 1. So we're essentially space and software geeks turned social entrepreneurs. And our moonshot is to democratize access to space for everyone. And we actually, uh, we think that we can do this by catalyzing entrepreneurial space ecosystems around the world, starting in New Zealand. If you believe that the future of humanity is tied or linked to planetary stewardship, and that it's also linked to outward migration of humanity into, the, into space, we do not want to leave anybody behind. <laughs> so uh, to us, uh, and I think to you, uh, uh, for your project, space is important. Um, uh, this is the view from yesterday, uh, from uh, showing the, uh, the clear skies over, uh, clearing over New Zealand. But uh, space is vital for monitoring the globe for the entire Earth's environment, and, uh, and most of what we learn about climate change comes from space monitoring. But it also uh, can monitor things as small as, uh, I checked to see whether, which tents were blowing down uh, <laughs> earlier. At the, uh, um, and so uh, even at the smallest scale, it's, uh, space can uh, provide uh, information. And we, vis uh, we uh, believe that in the next decades, uh, with access to space resources, that um, we really have an opportunity to expand uh, out beyond uh, uh, into the uh, solar system and use and develop clean energy there. Um, space is easier uh, in these days. Uh, this is uh, with exponential technologies allowing powerful small satellites like these tiny little ones, but uh, and frequent launches. Like one a remarkable thing about this satellite, these satellites is that they were built only seven weeks ago in Australia, and they're sitting on the launch pad right now waiting for a launch at uh, uh, 4 o'clock on Sunday. And, uh, with this Rocket is a, Lab. With Rocket Lab um, from the Mahia Peninsula. And so this normally takes two years, but in New Zealand, it's taken eight weeks. And so this is, uh, this has never happened around the world. Um, and it's a credit not only to Rocket Lab, but also uh, the New Zealand government, to the New Zealand Space Agency. So we're interested in supporting uh, projects around the world. Uh, we're starting in New Zealand. New Zealand's capabilities for technology and entrepreneurship have been increasing. And the, and, but we've been seeing the opportunities in space, the, the barriers to the space opportunities decreasing. And so that's our, where we see ourselves is trying to make this connection to help New Zealanders get involved with space projects. We'll do everything we can. So we think that the bridge is really capacity building. And you can do that through education, entrepreneurship, collaboration, and hopefully a marketplace so that you can create that industry, that new economy for New Zealand. So we've been here in New Zealand for about a year. So time to uh, own up. And so what have we been doing um, since then? So for the first um, six months of uh, work here, uh, with our really great partners from Christchurch and NZ. Uh, we ran the very first New Zealand Space Challenge, and we leverage space technology looking at extreme environments as an analog for space. And this is really to catalyze space ideas, uh, uh, entrepreneurship, and potentially startups. Um, with this, we had about 35 different uh, organizations and, and uh, economic development organizations, so universities all over New Zealand participate. Uh, we um, gave a prize equivalent to about $110,000, both in cash and, um, and in kind. And now the winner is actually using his technology and uh, potentially uh, looking at if it actually works now in Antarctica this, this season. So what else have we done? Um, we are also working on a collaboration platform. Uh, we're almost finished with our phase one, which includes the new space uh, directory. We found about 165 plus organizations and companies that are already working in space. Most people will say, well, it's only Rocket Lab, but actually that's not true. 
Um, we, there's also a calendar and so forth. And so the next phase to this is that we've hired local based uh, dev team X equals to work on the second phase of the platform, which is a token based project based funding platform. And the long term goal to this is we want to open source this also give it to other countries who would want to create new space economy in, in industries and hopefully connect them all together. The other thing that we've done is that we, we've been working on community. So we've created meetup groups, uh, especially in Wellington. Uh, we've also have a, an online platform, a social uh, media platform that is now um, pretty active. Uh, and then we've also catalyzed some other space uh, or, uh, organizations within New Zealand. Yeah, and we have, uh, it does seem to be working, we have uh, a handful of uh, New Zealand space entrepreneurs that have been created that are, we have one that's uh, looking at uh, producing solar power on, on the moon out of lunar material, he was at a lunar conference today, and so we have, uh, uh, we just want to encourage uh, people to think of opportunities uh, for this, to get involved with space projects, and we're also building a, a future marketplace. And we all, everybody needs blockchain apparently, so we are giving blockchain. <laughs> uh, and, and so, uh, but our, our, our third, our rich over in California has actually wor built working blockchain systems for three years uh, for World Food Program, things like that. And so this will allow people to, it's like a kayak for space services, but also it allows people to uh, uh, raise money without selling parts of the company. So that's a big problem in, in space, of course. And so we're at the very beginning. Um, we, are, we, are, we have a long way to go, and we do need help. Um, and so we do need connections and, and networking to reach more people for the opportunities for space. We do need funding for the next phase of, of uh, the development of the platform. And then also we need collaborators for the, uh, the next uh, challenge that also we're working on, which is now focused on um, basically sustainable agri and agriculture. All right. so, Thank kia you. Ora.